Hello, welcome back to a new video. So I've been using my ROG Ally as my main computer for a few weeks now, and it's been really amazing and I've actually been able to put away my big chunky laptop. So here is my 17 inch razor blade pro gaming laptop with RTX 3060 graphics card and an Intel i7 10th generation processor. As you can see, this thing is pretty beefy, it's pretty big. It's almost as big as my head plus half my torso. So as you can see, it's a very chunky device. And compared to the ROG Ally, look at the size difference. I can't even hold it with one hand. Look at that. This thing is tiny compared to my laptop. So it's been really nice being able to replace this massive thing, which weighs almost 4kg with the power brick. This thing takes up so much room in my backpack when I'm going traveling, have to go through security. Having to drag this out of my backpack messes up all of the internal integrity, structural design of the insides of my backpack because this is basically holding up the structure of the insides of my backpack with all the clothing clothing stuffed inside of it. When I pull this out of the backpack, everything inside collapses and then having to stuff it back in whilst at the airport, whilst trying to put my belt back on, my jacket back on, everything back on, is really annoying. So being able to ditch the laptop in favor of the ROG Ally, now that I know that it is a competent computer and it can do all of the things I usually do on my laptop. I can do it on the ROG Ally without any problems at all. So I feel confident in being able to ditch this and completely replacing this massive slab with the little minuscule ROG Ally, which is gonna be very good for my backpack. And it's pretty amazing that this tiny device can do everything I was already doing on my laptop. I thought my laptop was a pretty powerful thing and it is quite powerful, it's quite expensive as well, costing over $2,000. I bought it about two years ago back when the RTX 3000 series was top of the line, but now it's replaced by the 4000 series. But I can do all the things I was doing on the laptop, I can do that on the ROG Ally without any problems. I I do my video editing, I do my live streaming on the ROG Ally and it runs flawlessly without any hiccups or staggering or stuttering or lag. I play all my games on the ROG Ally like Diablo 4, Rainbow Six on ultra high graphics or high graphics. Sometimes I put the graphics down to medium to get a bit of a boost in frame rates per second. Internet browsing, watching YouTube, obviously all that is really great on this as well. Easy to do that. And the speakers on this, and the speakers on this thing are really good. You can see you've got two big speaker grates here and here, and they sound really good. Actually, they sound better than my laptop speakers. So when I'm using my external monitor with the ROG Ally, it becomes a very viable computer setup. I've got this curved display plugged into a HDMI that's plugged into a USB hub that plugs into the top of the ROG Ally, which allows you to connect everything to it. I've got a keyboard, you see my external keyboard, I've got my mouse here, so I just sit here like that typing away and I can use this display instead of this tiny one because the RG Alley display is very small, it's only like six or seven inches, it's very hard to do anything properly on that tiny screen and playing a lot of games on that tiny screen makes my vision go blurry, so very nice to have a big 27 inch curved monitor. Now if you're traveling you won't really be able to carry a 27 inch curved monitor in your backpack unless you've got a really big backpack. So I'm thinking of getting one of those 15 inch portable monitors that plugs into the HDMI or USB-C and then it will just replace my iPad. I've got a 10 inch iPad Pro, iPad Pro that I think I might just ditch as well and replace it with a 15 inch portable monitor that plugs into the ROG Ally. Then I've got this big screen solution for the ROG Ally that can also be used for watching YouTube and playing games and is quite thin and it's gonna be very portable compared to this big laptop. So for my travel backpack, I'll have my keyboard, my mouse, ROG Ally, and then a 15 inch portable monitor display. <laughs> It also saves me a lot of desk space because I used to have my laptop here like this. Oops, nearly broke my laptop. So I used to have my laptop here on the corner of the desk and then I would have it, which way does it open? I'd have it open, wait, wait, how does it open? Oh, it's this way around. Okay, so I'd have it open like that. And then I'd have this plugged into the monitor. But as you can see, it takes up so much damn room and I can't even see my fish tank anymore. So it's really nice being able to just put this away. And look at all that space it frees up. I got all this space to put my toothpick and money and stuff like that. And now I can actually see my fish tank Okay, so I'll show you how it works. It's quite simple, really. What you're gonna need is one of these USB-C hubs or USB hubs. So I've got almost every port filled in right now. Let me zoom in. 
So we've got um, one, two, three USB ports and two USB-C ports, HDMI port and also SD card slot reader. And this one is for the power. You're gonna to have to connect your power source into there. And then these other ones are for the keyboard and the mouse, the receivers and transmitters. And then you wanna plug in this USB-C part here into the top of the ROG Ally there. And it should automatically detect like that. And then uh, maybe turn on the ROG Ally would be helpful. I don't know why the ROG Ally likes to turn itself off. I think it's off. I think it's on standby mode, just go wake it up. Uh, trust me, it is very easy. weird oh there you go you just gotta hold it on for a few seconds I think I might have accidentally turned it off by holding down the power button oh well, it's okay so you just do the boot up menu after it's done the boot up menu and go to the login screen it will then automatically switch to the monitor it's so nice having this tiny little body instead of a massive laptop taking up all the space even better than a desktop a desktop, you've got the big tower and all the crap that comes with it. You'll put that under the table or behind the monitor. With this, you've got this tiny little device. It's so small. And then we've got this beautiful, wow, that's a nice photo. I don't know where that was taken, but it looks pretty nice. Yeah, a nice photo. Let me put in my password and I'll show you some gaming. Okay, so first of all, we'll boot up Armory Crates, which is kind of annoying because I never want to use it. And this is your desktop experience. Welcome to Windows 11 from the ROG Ally. It is basically just like using a laptop or desktop. Sometimes I forget I'm even using the ROG Ally because it just feels, it basically feels exactly like I'm using the laptop. Even though the Ryzen, what is it? AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme chip is supposed to be slightly less powerful than the RTX 3060 chip. I think it's supposed to be the equivalent of a GTX 1060 no, 1650 Ti, which is obviously a generation before the RTX 3000 series. But honestly, it just feels as snappy and as quick and as fast as a pretty expensive laptop. So you got this uh, desktop experience, you got everything. There's no, not really any point showing you this because I think you know what using Windows 11 is like. So I go ahead and boot up some gaming, show you what the gaming is like with a plugged in monitor, play some Rainbow Six Siege. Also, the great thing about it is you can use the RG Ally screen as a second monitor if you want to do some gaming on the big screen and then put some YouTube here on the smaller screen where you're not really paying too much attention to it. That I can drag this over to the main screen like that, maximize it, I can minimize it, drag it back over to the RG Ally screen, do like multi window, uh, multi box window, split window multitasking. And then you can like drag it to the left, drag it back to the right. You can use both of the screens if you want to. So that's really good for multitasking whilst you wait for Rainbow Six to boot up. And if you're wondering what that noise was in the earlier part of the video, that was just my washing machine. That's not the fan sound from the ROG Ally. I don't know how loud it was. It's was pretty loud, wasn't it? Okay, so we got some Rainbow Six loading right now. Found the match, show you some gameplay. I mean, I'm playing at, what are my settings at? I put it down to very high instead of ultra, but I think, wait, where is it? Uh, very high, for some reason it won't let me change it, but yeah, the graphics are on very high. It looks great and it plays really well as well. Let me get the monitor up, where is it? A uh, real time monitor on and as you can see on the top left, we've got 100 frames per second. Talk about 30 FPS or 60 FPS. How about 100 FPS? This game runs buttery smooth. Temperature of 79 degrees. We're on uh, turbo mode, which is 25 watt, 25 watt turbo mode, fastest mode ever. So the game plays absolutely flawlessly. Look how smooth it is. It feels exactly like playing on my laptop. I don't see any point of playing this on my laptop instead of playing on the RG Ally. There's no advantage of playing on a laptop. It plays exactly the same.
I can't believe it. Look at all this space I got on my desk as well. It's not all cluttered with that massive laptop taking up all the room. And then when I go traveling, I don't have to lug around that stupid 5kg 17 inch plus my power brick setup. If I just get a 15 inch portable laptop, I mean portable monitor, that would be so much lighter. This is, I mean, this keyboard weighs nothing. It's like 200 grams. The RG weighs nothing. It's like 300 grams. 600 grams, the mouse weighs nothing. Oh my god. Oh, I got a kill. Oh my god, there's one more there. Can I take out one more? Oh. Okay, sometimes my trick works where I hide behind the corner and then I suddenly dash out. Sometimes it catches them by surprise, but not that time. So I was saying that the keyboard plus RG Ally is like five, 600 grams plus a portable monitor, 15 inch, would be a couple hundred grams. I'm seeing, I'm going to say you're looking at like a one kilogram loadout for the whole thing. You might be thinking you just ditch your laptop to create a new laptop because you've got all the components of a laptop, but they're all separate instead of just built into one device. You've got the keyboard, the external monitor, which I'm going to get later, and the, and the mouse. So you are kind of just making a new laptop out of different parts, but all of the different parts are way lighter. I don't know why my 17-inch gaming laptop is so damn heavy, but I really hate that thing. The only good thing about it is the big, nice screen. 17-inch screen is pretty nice. But I just, I can't justify the weight and the cumbersomeness of it. I just prefer this nice little small thing. And then if you want to, you can unplug this and then just play it handheld, go over to the bed or sit down on the sofa and play some Rainbow Six or any other game you want to play. I mean, I could show you some other games, but it takes such a long time to have to close stuff and open it. Not because the RG Ally is slow, it's just... I don't know about you, but modern games these days take such a damn long time to open. All these stupid cutscenes and the intro scenes, and it takes a while to boot in. Even opening Rainbow Six, you've got to like log into Ubisoft Connect to even get the game loaded, and then all these stupid little cutscenes takes a freaking ages. So we're in South Korea, Seoul, right now. Look at the beautiful scenery. Look at that. Have you ever just stopped to look over the edge of the building and see a little traffic moving around? Look at the little traffic. Let me zoom in. Can you see that? See, I don't think you can see it, but you can see the little cars driving around. Can't believe this game is what eight years old and it still looks so good. There's just some everything just looks great in this game. The reflections, the lighting, the attention to detail. It might not have the latest, most advanced gaming engine or ray tracing or that stuff, but it looks great. I mean, look at this. Little orange glow light up there. Nice little desk. Little lamp on the desk, little plant. All the text is sharp and clear. Look at this little book. Oh, it's got Korean writing on it. It's got pictures. Everything looks so crisp and clear in this game. I love all the levels. Well, not all of them. Some of them are kind of boring, but this one's pretty good. This game feels so smooth as well. I never feel like I died because the game is not smooth. There's someone over there. Oh, there's someone over there. Watch out. Oh, I was too late to save my friend. I got him in the head, though. I don't like how the bodies disappear now. They made a change, but before the change... The bodies used to stay there during the whole game. Hmm. I'm the only one left? What the hell happened to my team? Okay, well this is not going to go well. One versus four. They might get cocky. Since it's just me left. Oh, there's one there. Oh, I got him, I got him. Three left. Can I ace the whole team? We've got 30 seconds. The riskiest thing about this is blinking. You blink, you might die. Where are they? In the kitchen. What? Where are they? 10 seconds. I think they're hiding from me. If I just stay here, I might be able to win. Oh, there's only two left. Oh my god! 
How did I miss that? I had the first shot as well. I just got them in the legs. There was only two of them left. That was a good match. So as you can see, it plays this game really well. I tried Diablo 4 as well, and it plays that really well as well. I haven't really played super modern games. I have tried uh, Cyberpunk 2077. That played really well as well. Starfield played good, but you had to put the graphics down to like medium, and you only get about 30 FPS. So super modern games, it does struggle a bit. You have to put the graphics down to like low or medium if you want to play super new modern games. But games that are like two years old, five years old or more, they'll play perfectly well on this. So I'm really happy with this system.